Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, <laughs> this is a full X ABC Euro, and I both really love and hate this lock quite a lot. I don't think you can buy these anymore, and it's definitely worth learning about this lock because if you ever come across one, just be warned. If I turn it over, you might think that these are all little anti drill. Uh, uh, rods where there's some hardened steel things that go down the side of the pins. Well, that's true for the front here, but these are trap pins. And I truly believe that these are the worst and hardest trap pins to pick. They truly are terrible. And if you don't know what this lock is and you start picking it, you will get into a whole load of trouble really fast if you're not careful. This is one of those ones which in the wild I probably would just leave alone or if I was a locksmith I would use any other method other than picking and if I was picking I'd probably use a plug spinner if I absolutely must and even then it's not guaranteed. You'll see um, on one of these sides I'll, I'll just mark up where the uh, vertical is using a pen. I've got a little pen here so uh, let's just put a mark on the vertical here down like that. And then you'll see the false set, and I might put another mark, and then I'll put the trap pins. And yeah, you'll see quite the lean. Right, let's uh, put this in a vise and give it a pick. So we are in the vise. I've got that center line marked up, and we'll hopefully mark some other lines on as we go into the trap pins. So there is a key. It's not remarkable, but tricky because of these high cuts here, very short key pins at the front, medium, then high, then medium, then possibly zero lift, and of course the key just works so beautifully. Of course it does for these annoying high security locks. 1.3 millimeter turner, so that fits in, and look at the nice fit, it gives some good control there. I've got a monkey paw, and we're going to just um, try and get into this lock and see what we can find with this. So nothing on one, uh, pin two now. Two, good. It'll click on three and four. Nothing on five, as we expected, nothing on six. Back to the front, pin one's binding. Really high, okay, good. Two now, another little click. Maybe serrations, maybe not. Three, four. Anything on five there? Yeah, oh, hit five, and we're into not a full set. So I think the serrated pins in there. Now look at this. You think you're in a full set, but you can't turn it back to that vertical position. So here, at around 20 degrees, to here is where you fall into these spool pin trap pins. And they're going to be in position one here, four and five. And what's happening is these little trap pins here are literally just firing into the key pin chambers. And they're tricky, they're really tricky. And we also need to swap to top of the keyway tension uh, to give us some clearance in the lock. So um, first things first, we will grab our pick and we'll try to pick the first binding pin which is I believe pin one but you need to do a little bit of manual counter rotation and listen to this hopefully tiny click right now we've got that hopefully we can we've got clearance to be able to just pop in a top of the keyway turn uh, like that and then there we go We'll try and pick these last two um, pins. So that's five. And where's four now? Nope. So you've got to try and find the remaining two trap pins and pick them, but they're a little bit funny about being picked. 
uh, and you've got and they will place ball ping pong with you so um, so I picked f f f four there and that's five and finally whew, we've got to the point where and again having these two means that I can control that tension between the two so clockwise and counterclockwise but then we have another problem which um, you really want to avoid these little spool pins are usually very very small and when you've got a very wide gap at the bottom of the keyway what can happen in some locks not all but you don't want to risk it is that these um, little trap pins may fall completely into the open bottom of the keyway they might not but they might and you really want to avoid that so what I've got is two turning tools uh, one is quite thin will fit nicely down here I've got a bit of a thicker one which will fit down here as well and what I'm trying to do is block the bottom of the keyway push down and turn as you go and there we go past that trap pin set that trap pin set and keep turning keep turning I'll get my turning tool in the bottom now uh, that one and then what you should do is we might be able to hear this as oh, as this falls into the trap pins on this side into the pin chambers so give this a bit of a go so turn to turn listen quietly there I don't know whether you heard that maybe I can increase the volume it just goes t -t -t like that little click and again you, you're trapped and if I mark this off you'll see that it's just the same angles on this side as the other side so you can see there that we have that 10 and 20 degrees somewhere or thereabouts so how do we get out of this well we've got to keep picking so pop in our nice tight fitting uh, tool we will then go in we'll try to find the first binder which might be pin six here and what might not might be five they're five then try to get onto pin six and avoid that spool ping pong ah there we've got it and now we are back closed so a bit of a 360 as far as gutting this, um, I I wouldn't dare. If this was a half cylinder, I might, but there isn't a good way of making sure that I don't completely destroy this lock, and I don't think you can buy these anymore, so I'm just not going to. But this is a warning. These are not easy trap pins. They've got a heck of an angle on them. They uh, need to be um, very, very carefully uh, float-picked open it's 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 just honestly the worst sometimes it can really make you take tear your hair out um gutting this if you do gut one of these um i i don't know how you do this because those trap pins are likely they're so small they like to fall into the um groove on the back of the cylinder here where the circlips are so they could fall into that if they don't they might fall into the the pin chambers and then you're really stuck if you got it halfway out <laughs> and then even if you did manage to move this one forwards you probably have to use a segmented follower to push the plug out which is not easy especially because again you've got these trap pins and you'd really want to use a shim to make sure that nothing untoward happened i would suggest if you had one of these and it was a half euro sure go ahead if you've got a whole one like this you're a braver person than i to try to uh, gut something like this but anyway um if you ever have gutted one of these uh, and or you know a video linking to one of these Folex ABCs then uh, please do put that in the comments just for people to have a look at but it's uh, a lock which really does punch above its weight it's got no anti-snap it's got a bit of anti-drill but it is really 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 good anti-pick anyway I hope you found that video interesting um, it's a like I said, a bit of a, a, a love and hate relationship I have with this lock if you like this video leave a like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it really helps me out uh, if you've got any comments about this lock uh, can link to any videos um, of people picking it and gutting it etc please do and of course I'll see you all 
next time.